Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong and this is the Sony a7R II. Now there's a lot of features on here that a lot of people know about, like the five axis stabilization which came with the a7 II and the, the 42.4 megapixel uh, sensor with the back illuminated sensor. There's a whole bunch of technical detail why, why this one's groundbreaking, but there's one feature on here that I think is more important than any other update feature that they've done, which is the eye autofocus in continuous mode. And that is a pretty cool thing for wedding photographers or children photographers. Um, Any time when you're shooting people on the move, wouldn't it be cool if you could shoot and have the eyeball in focus all the time? In the previous models, IAF, I thought was brilliant because it was the only thing that uh, camera that I knew of that would go zoop and find the iris or the eye and then focus on that because otherwise if I use say a servo type of focus mo- motor it generally would pick the closest thing so I got a whole bunch of nose tips with eye autofocus I was able to get the eyes in the a7R2 they programmed in a, a software feature which is eye autofocus continuous and it's pretty huge now let me show you first of all how to get there because you cannot activate it on a camera that comes from the store. There's no way to use eye autofocus until you customize the buttons. Now, the way to uh, customize it would be to use one of the rear buttons and customize that because if you use one of the ones in the front, that's going to get in the way of you squeezing your trigger, okay? So I'll just show you how that works. We're going to go to Menu, the Gear uh, tab, to Number 7 and down to Custom Key Settings. I'm going to choose the AEL button, Auto Exposure Lock. Now, yours is going to default to AEL, I believe. And so when I'm in the custom settings now, I can just go down and I can pick Eye Autofocus. Okay, so now that's done. Make sure that you have your lever on the back pushed down to AEL. Now, once I do that, watch what happens. The minute I press that back button, bing, found her eyeball. Now, go ahead and move a little bit. Yeah, she's coming toward me, away, right to left now. Yeah, and you can move your uh, that way, body too. So see that? It follows the eye. Now, watch this. I've got it on high-speed motor, and I'm going to hold it down, and I'm just going to shoot. And you can move around. Yeah. So, yeah, move. Uh-huh. What it does is when you're shooting in continuous, whether she's coming toward you or uh, away or uh, any any subject, this continuous autofocus will maintain that focus. Now, it's important that you have the camera on AF-C. You'll notice that on the left here. So, And I'll just show it to you again so that you can see how that works. We're going to press the function button, go up to focus mode, and we're either going to want to be in A, which is automatic. Automatic will choose whether it thinks you should be in continuous, meaning AI servo in other worlds, uh, or Uh, Do you want to continue focusing while the shutter is depressed? Or do you want to be in still mode and lock it when you put put the shutter down? AFA allows you to make that choice uh, quite simply. And it'll do one or the other, but it'll choose for you. So pressing that button on the back, boom, brings up eye autofocus. This is a, a huge feature. That's not talked about yet, and very pe- few people have been able to kind of go through all the features. I've spent three, three days with the camera, and that is one feature that I think is really super awesome.